Today we are breaking down a Curry 2 Retro. Just came back. We're gonna look at them today. Let's go. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Zach here with Tamsers Kicks and we have the new Curry 2. It's a retro of the old Curry 2's that came back. It's the Northern Lights colorway. We're breaking down this basketball shoe today. If you guys haven't seen a basketball shoe video, it's been a minute. I've been moving. I'm in a new spot. Got the new setup. If you guys haven't seen that video, I kind of broke down me setting up the new crib. But uh, yeah, go check that one out. But we are breaking down these bad boys today. We're going through traction, cushion, materials, support, all that stuff. Um, I'll have my ratings at the end of the video. We'll go through a little um, B-roll, talk about each little thing throughout um, the video. And yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get back with the basketball video. So let's get into it. So if you know, you know, the Curry 2s, this is the Northern Lights colorway right here. Got them on Foot Locker retail at 150. Um, they just brought them back. Under Armour's really been pushing a lot of Curry models coming back. I thought we might get a uh, like a Curry 2 Flow model with these and where they put that like nice um, Curry 8, Curry 9, Curry 10 like Flow outsole on these. Um, but they didn't really do that. They basically just brought um, like a Pro Tro of the shoe. They didn't haven't changed too much with it. We are gonna break them down and I mean, just as good as I remember, I used to hoop in them. They play really well. Traction is just a nice organic herringbone pattern on the outsole. Now it's not any um, Curry 9, Curry 10 flow outsole, but that nice herringbone design on there is super sweet. Feels nice, it's very durable. It can be used outdoor, indoor, plays well. I mean, it's just a traction, um, like that traditional herringbone pattern. So it's solid, it gets the job done. Um, I didn't really have to wipe very much with dust. Um, played very well, good responsive left to right movement, stuff like that. So it's just a solid, nice outsole. Next, the cushion is a charged cushion midsole that fills out the Curry 2s. Man, that charged one on here is definitely in, it feels like a little nice upgrade from pull these bad boys out of the closet, but from the Curry 1s, um, definitely an upgrade in the like lower to mid section right here. Um, you can definitely tell playing in them that it feels a lot better in this area. One thing, they do feel a little bit like taller though. Um, they're basically the same, and if not, the ankle definitely goes higher on the 1s is what I would say. Um, but the 2s, that cushion and that charged cushion feels really nice playing in it. Again. No uh, Curry 9, Curry 10 outsole, but it's pretty solid. Next, the materials are lightweight and a breathable UA Speed Form Upper. So as you guys know, the Curry 2 came out a long time ago, and I mean, I honestly, putting the shoe back on, I don't know why they went away from this Speed Form Upper, but it feels very nice. It does look thin, feels thin, but it's breathable. Um, it's like flexible, side to side movements feel really good. It keeps you locked in up here. Doesn't cut in too hard to your ankle, anything like that. And I mean, it just is really nice. One thing I'm not too sure about the materials um, is like the transition from the speed form wrap to this toe box with like the plastics um, doesn't feel too great. It does help with that like um, durability in the toe box area. I do like that aspect of it, but if they put that whole thing as that speed wrap, it could be a game changer on these, but otherwise super fire. Next we have the fit, playing with that fit, definitely go true to size, don't go up a half size, don't go down, they fit really well. Um, you can get a nice like lace lock in here going up, um, kind of depending if you want it looser or tighter, and that speed form wraps really, really well in the midfoot area, so definitely true to size. Finally, with the support, the external heel counter here, that heel counter that um, is a little plastic piece, um, it definitely helps with that um, kind of, keeping you strapped in here, keeping those movements um, forward, pushing you forward into the shoe, which also um, right here, bringing you in the heel counter and it brings you into this mid area, keeps you locked in. Speed form helps keep you down here as well. So I mean, support, very, very nice on these. Um, they feel well on foot, they play well on foot. Everything about them is really solid. And traction, we're going to eight and a half out of 10, pretty solid. Again, just overall, just like a traction pattern you want in a shoe. like. Good outdoors, good indoors, not a lot of dust collection, like good stuff. Herringbone helps in basically for any type of player, so they're pretty nice. And I'd also give the uh, the cushion the same thing, that 8.5 out of 10. Feels good. Um, I mean, if I'm comparing it to the Curry 10, Curry 9, that, that traction's on a whole different level. Um, and that like cushioning system as well, so that's why I kind of gave them the same. Materials, 8 out of 10. They're pretty nice. I think if this um, toe part was a little bit different, it would feel nicer. Um, but other than that, it feels great. It cuts nice on the ankle, feels good, and I mean, 
can't ask for much more than a breathable, like sturdy, supportive upper. So I did like that. Fit is an eight out of 10, um, good true to size fit. Nothing to complain about there. Not a lot of dead space, keeps you strapped in well. I like that as well as the support an eight out of 10. It could be better um, in some areas, but I mean, I'm not a huge like high top guy. I like the low top, like Kobe's, um, the Curry 10s, 9s, stuff like that. So I do like it support wise, like from overall standpoint is really good. Um, but yeah, not like what I prefer to play in, but you can definitely get nice support in these. 150 on these. If you guys are looking for a good Under Armour shoe, they may or may not still be available, but this is a solid um, retro of the Curry 2 Northern Lights colorway. That's it for this video today too. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Appreciate all the support. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. So thanks again, but we'll see you guys on the next one.